Alright guys, it's time to cut the crap. There's not a big enough community for us to have strife and argument in. And the Beyblade community has fallen apart. Uh, Burst has been good for many people, such as me, to get my channel going. Been good for Kimbo to get his subscribers up and get him to his goal. It's been good to a lot of people. But it has broken the community. Hasbro and Takaratomi, it never used to be a big argument because the Beyblades were just about the same. Well, now it's become a huge argument over which company's better, along with fakes. Because fakes were absolutely garbage, and then they started becoming good. I'm Team Hasbro, but I'm not afraid to try using fake Beyblades, because I use them for several reasons. For skits, for parts for things that I wouldn't want to use my normal base for, and so I can show people what they can get and how it will hold up for people who don't always have the most money because not everyone can dump a hundred bucks a month on Beyblades. I don't get Beyblades that often, so every once in a while I'll get a fake one. I got three fake Beyblades all at the same time. So then I said, you know what? These aren't bad. I'm going to try something different. I got two balance types. No, I got three balance types. I was like, you know what? I want to try something different. I'm a big fan of the Fafnir generation. I got the fake Fafnir for like three bucks. It has performed fantastic. It's first tournament. It's already in the finals. So you know what? Cool. I don't care if your team Hasbro, Takara, Tomi, or Fake. You don't need to hate on other brands. I'm Team Hasbro. I don't hate on Takara Tomi. I'll speak my mind about it, but I'm not going to be a jerk about it. I'm not going to go up to someone and be like, Oh, you like Takara Tomi, you suck. No, I'm not that person. I'm the kind of person that's like, Oh, you like Takara Tomi? That's cool. I'm Team Hasbro personally, but you know what? I'm not going to disrespect your company. It's a... About respect, guys. Respect what each other uses. You know what? You don't have to like Team Hasbro like me. That's cool. Like whatever you like. If you like fake Beyblades, that's cool. Use fake Beyblades. You like Takara Tomy? Good for you. Have fun. It's stupid how people will go out of the way to tell them that what... And when I say go out of the way, I'm not saying, like, scroll through the comments and look for someone to write about Hasbro or Takara Tomy and then just diss them. No. The fact that you would even think about writing a comment about what someone else likes and saying that it's garbage is a dirtbag move. If you're that kind of person, shame on you. I hope you, I hope you live a life filled with misery. You don't go and say something to someone that will intentionally ruin their day. Fight for what you believe in. Argue for what you believe in. But don't get drawn into it with something that could ruin your reputation. Now, to the main subject of this video. There's... My mom just walked by and she was smiling and made me laugh, sorry. Um, and there goes her car. I'm going to pause this and wait for just a second. Now look, I don't know the full details on it, but apparently from what I've heard, Draco Galaxy and Zanky are getting into another argument about someone taking someone else's work. I don't care about that. The community is too weak for what's going on. There's no need to be arguing or hating. You know what? I'm going to speak my opinion and just wait till the end to hear everything. I'm a big fan of Draco Galaxy. I love his videos, watching his work. It's cool. I, I, I love the work that he does. Zanky. I'm not a big fan. Personally, I see him as someone who's just doing it for attention. Keep in mind, say to the end because I'm going to explain stuff. Um, I've seen... I've been watching his channel since I was a little kid. I've watched... 
his work go downhill. He's loud, he's obnoxious, the rules of... The laws of physics mean absolutely nothing on his channel. What he says is God, basically. He is, in a way, kind of the Beyblade God. What he says is law. I hate to break it to you, but that's not how things work. Not everything that he says is true. Judgment Joker doesn't have a weak side or a strong side. The rubber makes equal contact for burst resistancy. But I digress. You know what? I might not like his channel, but I can see that he's passionate about what he does. He enjoys what he does. He works hard for what he does. And for that, I respect him. So, you know what? He's earned my respect. I'll watch his videos. Jake. A.K.A. Illinuke. I do not like his channel. I am not a fan. Never have been. But you know what? I, the reason that I don't like Jake is because of the way that he words things. And he kind of... He's kind of a double negative. He says that he likes something, then the next day he says that he hates it. But you know what? Besides the fact, he's just like Zanke. He works hard. He's enjoying what he's doing. I can see that he's having fun with it. You know what? Who cares? He's having a good time. I'll watch his videos. Because you know what? Maybe I can learn something from him. Maybe I can get a few laughs out of it. Maybe I can make his day better. Maybe he can make mine better. That's the way that it should be. You don't have to like someone. But just be respectful about it, guys. Don't come on to my channel knowing that I am Hasbro and saying, Oh, TT's better, Hasbro sucks. I don't care. If you're going to do that, you can get lost. There's no contract that ties you to my channel, to Kimbo's, to Zanke's, to Kevo's. There's nothing that ties you to any of them. You know what? Left Burst, their channel used to be really funny when they had two people on it. When it was just the one dude, I'm drawing a blank on the name at the moment, um, I found that it became less funny. I don't watch his videos that often, but you know what? Every once in a while, I'll, I'll watch it and I'll leave him a nice comment. We don't have to be friends with everyone. We don't have to get along with everyone, but we can't have the arguments. Now look, I'm going to be honest. There's been a couple times where a few different people, one channel is no longer around, and I'm not going to mention what it was, just because I have respect for that person. Um, I don't like them, but I have respect. I don't have respect for the tool bag that's driving by in their truck like that. What the heck, dude? There's a way to be a tool bag, and that's one way to do it. Don't be like that person who's driving that white Dodge. My God, if I saw my door bang his truck. Besides the point, see right there? That's a perfect example. I had no intentions of snapping at that person until they gave me a reason to. You know what? That's fine. Don't let it become an issue for an entire community. You see, I got mad at that guy. You know what I'm going to do? Not a thing. I'm not going to go over to my neighbors and say, Hey, give me a hand. I need to go kick the crap out of this guy because he just red banged his truck as he goes by my house. No, nope, I'm not dragging the community into it. It's just my personal problem. Don't be the person that brings down an entire community. Watch an RC video, guys. Don't even watch a video. Click on a video and read down through the comments. It's going to be 99% of it is going to be positive. You know why? Because the RC community, it's a close community. Beyblade, it's every man for himself. We need to be more like the RC community. It needs to be a brotherhood and it needs to be a close bond. I've got close bonds with a lot of people. Baybreaker Squad, Spike, Spin Prodigy, Star Raptor, Bladers Nation. Sorry if I left your name out, but you know what? Those are the ones that come to mind. I've got good bonds with a lot of people. I've got bonds that I don't like. I'm not going to mention any names. There are several channels where I've had to block them. Because of stuff that they've been saying. But you know what? I didn't bring the community into it. The one time I brought in the community into it was when... Someone copied my work. I got extremely frustrated. And I made a video. But you know what? Me and that individual 
we got over our issues. I still don't like the guy, but you know what? I'm not going to go and diss his channel. He's not going to diss mine. We're on even ground. I got in an argument with someone the other day about Hasbro, and Takara told me we were both dirtbags. In the end, he ended up apologizing to me, so I apologized to him. This is the way that it should be. The community is too weak to have arguments and strife. Alright guys, what I'm trying to say is... Don't drag a community, a community into it. The Beyblade... It's like the Hasbro Z Achilles. It's weak. It will break very easily. But if you use it just right, it can be strong. This is the best way that I can explain it, guys. We're like the Hasbro Z Achilles going up against the Tar Karatomi Chozy Spriggan. We have no chance. We are weak. But together we're strong. Keep this community strong. And let it hold together. If you treat the community right, guys, it'll treat you right as well. I'm not saying you have to listen to me. I'm not saying you have to agree with me. You don't have to be best friends with everyone, but don't drag anyone else into it. You know what? If I see that one of my buddies on YouTube is having a hard time, and they're getting in an argument with someone... I'll step in personally to help, knowing that I could potentially get in trouble or ruin my reputation. But you know what? If it's to help a friend, I'm willing to do it. I don't ask for anything in return, but I do it on my own. I don't expect Zanke and Draco Galaxy to get along all the time. I didn't even know that they had issues, but you know what? I trust that they will be mature enough adults or young adults to solve their issue. That's all I'm going to say, guys. This community is weak. It's time to flex tape it back together. I'll see you around. Now listen to my words the best you can.